Hey, how you doing? David Taub here from Epic Guitar Instruction. Hope all is going well. Hope your guitar and musical journeys are going famously. Today we're going to learn a stripped down one acoustic guitar version of In Your Eyes. Song originally performed made famous by Peter Gabriel. Lots of people have covered it since then. Um, such a fun song to play on acoustic. The original song Peter Gabriel performed, there's a lot of keyboards in it. Right, and it's very open, atmospheric, so cool, such a great song, right? But we're gonna do a little bit more like um, a Jeffrey Gaines version. I found that version, if, if you haven't heard, you might have, it's very popular. Just YouTube Jeffrey Gaines in your eyes, great singer, songwriter, but he crushed it with his cover of this song. We're gonna do a little more of a version like that, a little fuller sounding, and it works better. It's very similar quarter wise and tonal center wise. One big difference, which we'll get to in a minute, but we'll do a, a version that's more like that as it really fills it up for acoustic guitar. And before we get rock, if you could do me a favor, please subscribe to the channel. Subscribing to the channel, that really helps us. It helps us to keep bringing the content. Then also you'll be notified when we have new lessons out. And um, if you can, leave a comment below. Let us know how you like this lesson. Let us know what songs you'd like to see coming up or what lessons you'd like to see coming up. If you like the video, please uh, click the like button, give it a thumbs up, share it, and thank you so much for your support. We so appreciate it. So structure-wise, if you learn three parts, you'll have the whole song. And we're gonna go over the parts one at a time. There's basically an intro, which is a piece of the verse chords, which are exactly the same. So intro and verses are the same, and it's the same for both verses, the changes, same thing. Then there's a pre-chorus, which is the same thing both times, he, he goes through it. And then there's a chorus, again, same changes. So basically, if you can get the verses, pre-chorus and chorus, just those three parts, you'll be able to stitch the whole song together. Another thing, a big part of making the song really come to life is embellishing the chords, adding little things to them, suspensions or add notes and whatnot. I'm gonna be doing that a lot, but the embellishing really will take this song to the next level. And that's what I really want you to kind of get out of this lesson because you could do that embellishing on other songs too. It's the technique that you can apply and it really creates a lot of movement within the chords. So let's do the intro first, and here's the chords you're gonna need. It's basically the first three chords of the verse, and it's played the same way. So the chords you're gonna need for the intro are B minor, A major, which you could either play with three fingers like this, or if you just wanna grab the bar, A bar, where you're not playing the high E string, you could use that one also. And then we're gonna use a D chord. D major, and we're gonna be embellishing it by adding our pinky to the high E string, making it a D sus four, D suspended fourth, or taking off our second finger, making it a D suspended second. And then later when the verse comes in, you're also gonna need a G major chord. So here's the intro. I'll do it more in a Jeffrey Gaines kind of style, and then I'll break it down and explain it to you. Basically on the B minor chord, what I'm doing is I'm actually just playing the bar across all the strings, just kind of like a B and 11 chord, and I'm hammering on with my other three fingers, and you get that sound. So you gotta come down hard keeping these three fingers in like a cluster, and you hammer on the whole chord. Now if you can't do that, just play the straight B minor chord. Again, if you can't do any of these embellishments at first, just play the straight chord. The strum pattern I'm using on that chord. So I'm going a down with the hammer and then a down up. Okay? And then I'm doing a chucking where I'm just kind of loosening pressure. Down up and then another down stroke. So if I do that slow, it'll sound like this. Hammer, down up. Down up, chuck, down. Practice that, it'll take a little bit, but you'll get it, and then work the speed up slow. And then you go to the A chord, and on the A chord, straight, down, up, down, up. I'm on the D chord to do those embellishments. All I'm doing, I'm lifting off that second finger first, to go D sus two, then putting it back to the D, then adding the pinky to give it the D sus four. Okay, and you get that nice movement within that chord. We want to throw in those embellishments. So 
See how it really creates that movement, right? So that's the intro, and you play through the, those chords two times, and then it goes right into the first verse. And if you're struggling with bar chords, you know, they really are a challenge, but I could really help you with it because so much about bar chords is about the actual technique of playing them and the techniques that go into changing, especially, you know, opens to bar chords, which are really challenging at first. Uh, but I could totally help you with that. I'll send you a free video lesson with my essential bar chord fret hand techniques and also bar chord changing tips and bar chord exercises. It's a great video lesson. All you have to do is click on that link below in the YouTube description box. I'll send you the video lesson. Also, I'll pair it with an ebook. It has a lot of chord diagrams, um, more lessons, right? Um, it's a great one-two punch. I'll send it to you for free. Just click on that link below. And the first verse, it starts with love. I get so lost sometimes. Okay, it's the same progression, but what it does on the second lyric line it changes, the end changes, and you play a G chord as the last chord instead of the D. So you're going B minor, A, D, first time, and then second time, B minor, A, G. So the whole progression to the G chord, you repeat four times, and that's the verses, first verse and second verse, exactly the same. So let me play you through all of that so far. I'm gonna do the embellishing, I'm gonna play the intro, twice into the first verse. You'll see it all on the screen. It'll sound like this. into the pre-chorus. All my instincts, they return, right? The chords you'll need there are basically just an A major. We're going to embellish it by adding our pinky to the D note on the third fret of the B string, making that an A suspended fourth, and then a G chord. And that's it. It's basically the A to the G, A to the G, A to the G, A to the G, and on the fourth time you hold the G chord. Four Time. So you're going to play that G chord four times and then that goes into the chorus. on that E chord. Let me show you what I was doing on the first chord, the A chord, strum patterns down, up, up, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, down, up. So that would sound like. And then you go to the G. You can just switch between the two if you want. Same strum pattern on the G. What I was doing is on the up, up, down, down, up, up, down, I was adding my pinky for that sus four. Here it is, up, up, down, right? And then I take it off for that, for the last, for the down up. Sounds like this. So the last little embellishment I did, I did kind of a little walking bass note down to the E chord in the chorus. So basically on that G chord, when you're on it the last time, when you're playing it four times through, instead of doing that down up on the last two, strums, I go G note, F sharp note, and then I'm into the chorus. Just, again, a little bit of movement, a little bit of bass movement. If I play it, it'll sound like this. So I just kind of want a couple quick eighth notes, one and two and, and I'm in. So 
again, it just provides a little bit of movement. If you want to throw it in, sounds good. If not, just stay on the G. All right, now the chorus is basically, you're gonna need an E major chord. And you could embellish that if you want by making it an E sus4 by adding that pinky. So you have all three fingers, but leave your first finger down also. Uh, add your pinky to the A note on the G string. Sounds really nice. You could also hammer the first two notes, much like we were hammering the B minor. Right, you get these, get that really cool movement there. And we're going to play the E to a D chord. And you could do the embellishments on that D chord, just like before. Now the interesting thing is, in the Peter Gabriel version, they play the E to, an, to the A chord. All right, so Jeffrey Gaines' version, he goes the E to the D chord. He sings it higher. Um, so what I would say is if you're singing this, find out which one is more in your range, going from that E to the A or from the E to the D. I'll show you from the E to the D, but you could do either of them. And this is the part in your eyes, the light and the heat in your eyes, right? Uh, I am complete. I see the doorway. Use the same strum pattern too for now. Just that down, up, up, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up, up, down, up. On both chords embellish the D the same way you did in the in the verses right and you can embellish that E in the same way I just showed you so you're gonna play that change basically eight times the only difference is the last time to stay on the E and it holds the E for two two times you play the E twice and then it goes right back into the intro right you play that twice and then you're into the second verse I'll play the whole thing but what I'll do is um, I'll play it like maybe the first four times without embellishing it so you can hear that and then I'll start randomly doing the embellishments and I'll carry it through the intro to the next verse. It'll sound like this. the second verse love I don't like to see so much pain you could end it I would end it because you're going from that E to the D in the chorus or the E to the A however you want to play it and then I would just kind of the like you're playing a chorus you know and it goes through that progression eight times and then the last time just stay on the E maybe slow it down Enjoy it, have fun, make it your own, put your own spin on it. Don't forget, subscribe to the channel. That really helps us to keep bringing the content and we'll notify you we have new lessons out. Please leave a comment below. Let us know what you'd like to see coming up, what gear reviews, what lessons, what songs. Share the video. And also don't forget, get that free video lesson on essential bar chord fret hand techniques, changing tips, exercises. I'll send that video lesson and ebook to you for free. Just click on that link in the YouTube description box below. So that'll wrap up this lesson, but stay tuned. I got so much more killer content and lessons coming soon. Keep up all that hard work on that guitar. Keep pushing yourself. You can do it. Stay positive. And just remember, your guitar playing is an evolution. Take care. I'll see you soon and rock on.